the ballot or or on the on the warrant which is of course what you have before your deliberative session mm -hmm. the selectmen have the duty to put the warrant together and put it out to the voters within the time frame and that warns the voters this is what we're acting on this is what we're discussing and deliberate deliberating at the deliberative session um, that's their role to put together um, the warrant and then of course um, the ballot is put together after the deliberative session because it has to reflect any amendments made to warrant article that were contained on the warrant. The ballot needs to contain, and same thing with the warrant, needs to contain just what the law says it's supposed to. So that's the, the questions that are being put to the legislative body, any recommendations required by law, um, any estimated tax impact, which you'll see up here on the screen, but nothing else. So the warrant, the ballot, that is not a place for explanatory information about why certain appropriations are being proposed, certainly not a place for any kind of advocacy language or things of that nature. Voter guides can accomplish uh, educating voters about why certain expenditures are being um, proposed, but that's not for the warrant and it's not for the ballot. Um, the estimated tax impact, something that the legislative body adopts and says, yes, we want. Um, we want that to be on our warrant articles. It's put on the operating budget and any special articles with a tax impact as determined by the selectmen. And then ultimately the tax impact is subject to their approval. So, so they're the ones who approve that yes, this is um, the appropriate tax impact. 